Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain about coefficient of variation. So, what is coefficient of variation or CV? It is used to compare the dispersions or the spread or the variability of two or more data distributions. Okay, so for example, let's say I have data about height of students from group A, group B, and group C. So we have three groups, which is two or more. So we want to compare the spread or the dispersion or the variability of these three groups. Okay, let's look at on how to find coefficient of variation. So CV is given by standard deviation divided by mean and then multiply by 100. So normally we express value CV in terms of percentage. So that's why we multiply it by 100. Okay, now look at here. We have two distributions with the same value of mean here, which is distribution A, the green one. The mean is equivalent to 52. And second curve here, distribution B, the red one, with the mean also equal to 52. But notice that these two distributions have different standard deviations. So, distribution B, the standard deviation is 6, but distribution A, the standard, the standard deviation is larger than B, which is 12. So, for this kind of distributions, so it is easy for us to compare the spread or the dispersion or the variability since the mean value is the same. So, which distribution is more variability or less variability, we can use standard deviation in order to conclude which one is less variability or more variability. So with standard deviation equal to 12 for distribution A here, we can say that distribution A is more spread or more variability or we also can say that distribution A here is less stable or less consistent as compared to distribution B. Okay, if you look at the green curve here, we can see that the width of the curve, width of the curve here, is wider as compared to the red curve here. So the red curve here, distribution B, it becomes narrower since the standard deviation is smaller than standard deviation of distribution A. Okay, now let's look at example. What if if we have two distributions with a different value of mean and also different value of standard deviation? So how to determine which distribution is more spread or more dispersed or more stable. Okay, before that, note here, among the keywords that we use for coefficient of variation is either less stable or less consistent or less variability or more variability. Okay, for less stable, we will choose distribution with higher CV. Similar to less consistent, we will choose distribution with higher CV as well. But for more variability, more here is less. So if more variability also, we, use, we choose distribution with higher CV. Okay, for less variability or more stable, here is less variability more stable or more consistent, we will choose distribution with lower CV. So that's how we make decision based on coefficient of variation. Okay, now let's look at example. Okay, here I have two distributions of test score from group A and group B. So here, mean test score for group A is 72 marks with a standard deviation of 12 while group B the mean test score is 69 and the standard deviation is 8. 
Okay, now we want to see which group perform better or we can say that which group is consistent or more consistent in their test score mark. Okay, so here we can use coefficient of variation in order to determine which distribution is more consistent or less consistent in their test score. Okay, now let's look at how to calculate coefficient of variation for group A. So we know that CV equivalent to standard deviation 12 divided by sample mean here 72 and then multiply by 100. So here we will get CV for group A is 16.7%. Okay, now let's calculate CV for group B. So standard deviation 8 divided by sample mean 69 multiplied by 100. So here we will get CV equal to 11.6. Okay, now we want to do conclusion. Okay, let's say if we want to know which group having test score more consistent. More consistent means that we have less variability. Okay. So more consistent, if more consistent or more stable or less variability, we will choose lower CV. So here, if we compare here, CV for group B is lower than CV group A. So here we can conclude group B has more consistent test mark. Okay. Or we also can say that group B has more stable test mark. Or we also can say that group B has less variability in their test mark. Okay, so if you want to choose higher CV, so if higher CV, so here we choose this on lower CV. So if lower will be more consistent. Okay, if we choose based on higher CV, we would say that group A has less consistent okay, since the CV is higher. Test mark. Because the CV is higher. Or we also can say that group A has less stable test mark or it has more variability in terms of the test mark. Okay, that is coefficient of variation. So again, if you want to look at for less stable distribution or less consistent distribution or more variability distribution, we choose higher CV. Otherwise, if we are looking for less variability or more stable distribution or more consistent distribution, we will choose for lower CV.